This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Mike Huckabee is a liar. I mean, <laughs> Mike Huckabee's wife is a liar. Mike Huckabee and his wife gave birth to, gave life to an historic liar in Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who's now the governor of Arkansas. Mike Huckabee used to be governor of Arkansas. Uh, Mike Huckabee also, a little uh, mea culpa moment here, used to be somebody that I had some semblance of, some, some degree of respect for. Mike Huckabee is no longer a respectable character. Mike Huckabee is a, a die-to-the-wool, dedicated purveyor of running interference for and creating propaganda for Donald Trump. He is now just yet another in a series and a long line of grifters who are there to cash that check. And he has a show that's kind of like a, a, a talk show, an evening talk show, a late night talk show on TBN, Trinity Broadcasting Network. The long time disgraced, I think they, they were going through bankruptcy because they, they had no more old people to bilk out of their money. Paul and Jan Crouch, they're both dead now, thankfully. The world is a better place without these grifters who take advantage of people. But somehow the, the, the network drives on, and Mike Huckabee has a little late night show where he talks about whatever and has guests on. And the other day he had, he did his show. I'm going to play a clip for you. It's two minutes or so, a little longer than I normally play, but I'll put the timer up so you can scrub through it if you don't want to hear him. And I want to give you the flavor because this is right into the monologue. Like the show starts and it's the music and it's the crowd, you know, applauding. And then they zoom in with their crane and then he goes through his monologue and he immediately launches in to the tried and true drumbeat of threats of violence if Donald Trump is not once again in the White House. I think the actual quote here is if Donald Trump, but it, that if Donald Trump is, is convicted or it doesn't win in 2024, here's the quote, it will be the last American election that's decided by ballots instead of bullets. White Christian nationalism is a threat to our democracy. White Christian nationalists pose that threat, pushing their ideology and their mantra and their ethos, which is, again, driven by violence and threats of violence. Let, let me just play the clip. We'll talk about it on the other side. But uh, brace yourself. It's lie after lie after lie, all of which I'm going to cover, or most of which I'm going to cover, uh, it's a nightmare. Watch this. We have a very lively audience here tonight in the theater. We're so very grateful for them and for you to join us. Now, do you know how political opponents to those in power are dealt with in third world dictatorships, banana republics, and communist regimes? Well, it's simple. The people in power use their police agencies to arrest their opponents for made-up crimes in an attempt to discredit them, bankrupt them, imprison them, exile them, or all of the above. And if you're not paying attention, you may not realize that Joe Biden is using exactly those tactics to make sure that Donald Trump is not his opponent in 2024. Now, folks, this kind of thuggery at taxpayer expense isn't supposed to happen in the United States. No. We're supposed to be a nation of laws and not a nation of powerful people. But the Biden administration is in full meltdown mode to hide the money laundering, influence peddling, and outright bribery that Joe, his son Hunter, and their associates have been conducting for well over a decade that has enriched them to the tune of tens of millions of dollars. It's been exposed by numerous sources ranging from former business associates who knew firsthand of the corruption as well as government whistleblowers who came forward after witnessing the so-called Justice Department, the IRS, the FBI, and the Attorney General himself, all conspiring to hide the Biden family crimes, while all the time being obsessed with charging Donald Trump with crimes that 
even liberal, Democrat, and never Trumper constitutional scholars such as Alan Dershowitz and Jonathan Turley assert are not even crimes at all. In fact, they and other objective legal scholars are appalled by the attempt to smear Trump at any cost while seeing members of the Biden team feverishly try to destroy Trump in the courthouse rather than at the ballot box. Here's the problem. If these tactics end up working to keep Trump from winning or even running in 2024, it is going to be the last American election that will be decided by ballots rather than bullets. Look, you can add whatever kind of hillbilly folksy charm you'd like, but it doesn't take away from the danger of your words. I don't know who his audience here is. Well, I do know who his audience here is, but I know it's not Democrats. He's not doing this and saying this as a, as a metric or some kind of an attempt to scare Democrats uh, into believing, oh, we better not start, we better not continue to stand for democracy because there might be violence. He's doing this to signal to the white Christian nationalists, get your guns ready, boys. There may be a civil war part, duh. That's why he does what he does. That's why he says what he says. He knows that there is an impact with his words. But isn't it, isn't it just, ah, that for years we've heard literal chants of lock her up, lock him up, lock them up at rally after rally after rally after rally, Donald Trump initiating and sometimes leading these chants. And now it's, well, what they do in third world countries is arrest and threaten to imprison their political opponents. Ignoring the fact that the 91 indictments that Donald Trump faces right now across four, the 91 charges again, uh, run across four different indictments, those are based on breaking the law. You want to talk about the rule of law, the, the, Mike? Let's talk about the rule of law. Let's talk about the Constitution being our North Star, guiding principles of equality under the law, equal protection under the law. Might get a little rough for you, though. He talks about the, the Biden scandals, the extortion and the bribery, and the Department of Justice, the FBI, the IRS, and the Attorney General himself. Hunter Biden is getting ready to be indicted on felony gun charges for which he should be imprisoned. Hunter Biden should face a jury. And if convicted, he should go to jail for his crimes. But you don't hear that from the other side. They don't stand for the rule of law. One way you know he's lying, there, there's, a, there's a, a theory in law called uh, falsus in uno, falsus in omnibus, which is if, you're, if you lie about one thing, we can just assume you're lying about everything. I think I got that right. That he calls Alan Dershowitz and uh, Jonathan Turley never Trumpers. <laughs> If there are two dudes who have run more interference for Donald Trump and his criminality, let me know who they are. Jonathan Turley is not a never-Trumper and has never been. Alan Dershowitz is a regular fixture on Newsmax running conspiracy, conspiracy theories, running wild defending Donald Trump, whining about, I don't have any friends anymore. Because who knows? I have no idea why. Who knows what kind of dirt Donald Trump has on him since he was big pals with Jeffrey Epstein. Who knows? But the last thing is what is most important. It is what is most dangerous. And it is the clarion call to violence if Donald Trump is not elected again in 2024. He says it in weird sideways language kind of brushing up against it, that if Donald Trump uh, isn't on the ballot or does not get elected because of his conviction for his crimes, then it will be 
the last American election that's decided by ballots instead of bullets. This is the mantra and the ethos of white Christian nationalism. They are threatening civil war. They are threatening violence if their political uh, ends are not met. And again, someone remind me when the use of or the threat of violence is used to secure a political agenda. It's called terrorism. Mike Huckabee is promoting domestic terrorism on Trinity Broadcast Network, the heralded Jesus Network. White Christian nationalism in service to their demigod who they literally erect golden statues to, Donald Trump. What do you think? I'd love to know. Were you once like me who had some sliver of affection for Mike Huckabee? Probably not. I'm just uniquely stupid in that way. Uh, You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, If you want to help support my work, go check out my Patreon page. That's the best way. They take a little less. They take a lot less than other um outfits patreon.com slash i doubt it podcast you can help support and produce what we do right here you can also click the join button below become a channel member for a dollar 99 a month or just hit the super thanks button uh you can share like subscribe all of those things help this channel and i appreciate every single one of them i'll see you next time until i do be genuine take care of one another